Hey guys, it's Jen. Um, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So, things my ex did. Now, keep in mind, this is ex number one. I have, I'm gonna have to make a slew of these videos because this is the first man I've ever dated, right? Okay, I'm in college. Dude comes up to me. Didn't approach this guy. This guy wouldn't leave me alone in this stadium of sorts on campus. I refused to give him my number. I didn't want to text him because the phone I had at the time, now keep in mind, I'm a millennial. So the phone I had at the time was not mine. So I didn't want to text him because it didn't belong to me. So this dude keeps hammering me until I give him his email. I mean my email, sorry. So he can email me. But because it's a Google email, he continued to just do Google chat the whole time. This is back in 2010. And dude would not leave me alone. Dude hasn't left me alone to this day, okay? This dude is like obsessed with me. I don't know why. But let's just say I lost my V card to this dude, okay? Pressured me to do things I didn't want to do, which I will not disclose in this video for reasons. But when you're 18, 19, vulnerable, never been out in the world, there are things that you do not see as red flags because you've never seen them before. Um, this guy had a very Catholic, traditional, culturally normal for him because different race than me, but culturally normal, normalized thinking of these types of men from where he's from. And... This dude, one of the red flags I had from him was at month three when I dated him, which is right before I broke up with him, was when he said that he wanted to marry me and make me Catholic. I was raised Lutheran, okay? I attend a church that is no longer Methodist, but I was raised Lutheran. I know how to pinpoint small little things that don't align. And that was one of the major red flags for me with this guy. I've had dreams about him being spiritually... On the dark side, if you will. Um, like, he was never physically abusive or anything, but it was always, like, verbally strange. Dude chatted with my mom a lot, which I found awkward. Come to find out, this dude is non-committal at all. And just... Bad in ways I can't even pinpoint, because, like, I didn't catch him cheating or anything. Just, like, I can't even explain why this guy is bad. And I don't think he understands he is bad, which is the other problem. Like, I can't pinpoint a specific thing other than the sexual things that he has done and said that are just wrong.